We will begin by using a piece of paper and a pencil to sketch out our donut stack. At the top of your paper, lightly sketch out an oval shape for your top donut. Then, to create the center, you're going to draw a curved line in the middle, like a smile, and a smaller curved line, like a sad face, at the top. Then you can add a wavy line going across to look like the dripping glaze. Start your second donut, you're going to draw a curve on the left and a curve on the right. Then connect those two with a line that's curving down slightly to make your donut look round. Now it looks like the second one is right underneath the top one. Again, draw a wavy line to look like your glaze and repeat this for as many donuts as you'd like to add. Once you finish sketching out all of your donuts, you can add a plate at the bottom by drawing a curve from the left side of your bottom donut all the way around to the right side of it. Then add any details that you'd like for the design of your plate. Next, decide if you'd like to add some cartoony faces to your donuts. Try to give them a variety of different expressions. Once you have all of your details drawn in, Add a line for the edge of the table that's on the left and right of your bottom donut. Now you're ready to trace with black. If you have a Sharpie, you can use that, or a black crayon, black marker, or black colored pencil would work as well. Trace every detail to make them pop. Once you finish tracing with black, erase any pencil that is still showing through before beginning color. To begin color, choose what material you'd like to use for the glaze on your donuts. For mine, I'm just using markers for the glaze. Next, decide for your table and the plain sections of your donuts what material you'd like to use to color those. I'm going to take a coin and put it underneath my table to create a crayon rubbing for some texture. You can try this technique or just use a solid color. For the plain parts of my donuts, I'm using a few different colored crayons, and I'm pressing a little bit harder underneath my wavy line to create a little bit of value and shadow. You can use whatever materials you would like for this step. Now that I'm done coloring, I get to add my fun found object toppings. So here are some things I added on the one on the left. I used beads, pencil shavings, cotton balls, crayon rubbing, yarn, and on the right, I'm gonna try some different materials. So first I'm gonna glue down some small pom-poms. Next, I'm taking a piece of paper from a magazine and cutting it into thin strips to look like sprinkles.
you can create a similar effect using a small piece of aluminum foil. Another fun found object you can use is a rubber band. If you cut it apart, this can also look like sprinkles. And here are my finished found object donuts. I can't wait to see yours.